What up everybody, Chris here, and today I'm going to tell you how you can start making money even if you are completely broke. There's a lot of ways to make money out there. There's a lot of businesses that you can start, but most of them require at least a little bit of upfront investment. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can start a profitable business, how you can start making money even if you have zero money upfront to invest. So stay tuned. This video is in response to a comment by Harsh Singla, who asks how he can make money even if he's completely broke. So if you have a question that you'd like me to answer, then leave it in the comments and I might just make a video about it. So you wanna make money even though you're completely broke. Now, the first thing I wanna say about that is don't starve yourself, you know? Don't get to the point where you're completely desperate. If you, if you can't pay your rent, if you can't pay for food, then just go find a job, you know? Go find a crappy job at McDonald's. Go find a job cleaning someone's toilets, whatever it takes, right? Go move in with your mom or go take welfare. And I don't support welfare, by the way, but if welfare is available, uh, I mean, you might as well take it, right? Because once you start making money you're gonna pay a whole lot more into it than you ever took out of it I talked about before in this video there's some really easy ways that you can start making money on the internet now you won't make very much money but it's money that you can make super easy with no special skills and you can start making money right away now the one other drawback to that is that for a lot of those ways you need to be a US citizen or a European citizen and I know a lot of my audience is not from the US or Europe so um, that might not work for you but this method that I'm gonna be going over in the video today will work anywhere in the world. So here's what you're gonna do. Go to local businesses in your area, and it could be places you're already going anyway. So if you're going to get your hair cut, you're going to get lunch, you know, you're going out to the bar, whatever it is, and look at those those places marketing and look up their web page look up their facebook look up their instagram and as you do that figure out if you can find things that are lacking in their marketing and then whenever you find something that you think could be done better ask yourself one do you know how to do it better do you already have the skills to do this thing better than the company is doing or if you don't already know, is it something that you could learn or is it something that you could pay somebody to do for you? You could find somebody on fiverr.com or upwork.com that will do it for you for cheap. This could be a lot of things. It could be a website. Like, does, does the company even have a website? There's still some companies that don't have websites at all. Go to the website. When you go to the website, does it look good? Does it look like it's from 1995? What about a mobile optimized website? If you take a look at the website from your cell phone, does it look good on your cell phone? Or does it only work for a PC computer? Could be a Google Maps listing. So search for the, the name of the restaurant in Google and see if it comes up on Google Maps. If it doesn't have a Google Maps listing, that would be a great source of value for the business. What about a Facebook page or an Instagram page? Does it have a Facebook page? Does it have an Instagram page? And if so, are they good? Are the, are the pictures good? Are the descriptions good? Is it getting engagement? Does it have followers? How about the copy on the website or the social media pages? Is it well written? Is it convincing? Is it persuasive? When you read it, does it make you think, oh, I wanna go to this place? Or are the pictures maybe? Are the pictures good quality? If it's, a, if it's a restaurant, do the pictures make the food look appetizing or do they make the food look disgusting, right? There's a whole bunch of places where the marketing could be lacking. Or even the English, you know, if it's a restaurant that's owned by foreigners, sometimes they write the menu themselves, sometimes they write the copy themselves, and the English isn't very good. Or whatever language it's written in, if you're not in an English speaking country or if you're in a, a country that doesn't speak English but there are a lot of English speaking tourists that come there do they have materials in English especially if it's like a tourist facing industry I'm in Rio de Janeiro Brazil right now and a lot of the restaurants don't have menus in English even though there's a lot of tourists that come here so it would be a big value add for them to be able to offer menus in English and a lot of the restaurants that do have menus in English they're really poor translations like the owner just put the Portuguese into Google Translate and whatever came out that's what he put on the menu so I could really easily just go up to the owner and say hey I'm a native English speaker do you want me to translate your menu in good proper English that Americans and British and Australians will understand and say you know I could probably charge 50 bucks for that and it'd be a real easy sell because there's a lot of English-speaking tourists that come to Rio de Janeiro and they want to get in on that money. 
If you're going the social media route, one super easy way that you can impress businesses is to tell them to have some sort of interesting place where people can take photos for social media. In my hometown of Tampa, Florida, one of the most popular restaurants is called the Green Lemon. And that restaurant on the side of the building has spray painted in huge letters, you are beautiful. So all of the teenage and 20 something girls that go to that restaurant, they all go take a photo beside the wall that says you are beautiful and they put it up on their social media and they tag the location they tag the green lemon restaurant so it's getting tons and tons of free publicity and I'm convinced that that's one of the reasons it's gotten so popular so if you're advising businesses on their on their social media that's a really easy bit of free advice you could give them that will increase their business considerably now if you're enjoying this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up icon and if you want even more ways to make money I'm coming out with videos all the time so hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button because that means that you will be the first to get my new content and if you think this video might be helpful to your friends your family or somebody else that you know go ahead and share it because they will love you for it here's another example just recently I was in a small town in Colombia and we were walking around looking for some food and we found a little Italian restaurant that was kind of towards the edge of town and went in and the food was cheap and it was absolutely delicious and the, the owners were super nice so I kind of started making friends with them and talking to them about their business and they said oh well we have a hostel as well like the restaurant was part of the hostel and they also did tours because they owned a coffee farm in the area and I had been back several times I never saw anybody staying at the hostel and I rarely saw anybody eating at the restaurant so and the whole time I was staying in the town I never saw one single piece of marketing from them and so I asked them uh, about the hostel I I asked them if they were on hostelworld.com and they said no which was crazy to me because in my experience everybody that ever books hostels goes to hostelworld.com so I was able to to give them that tip that they should be on hostelworld.com and probably more than doubled their business with just that one easy little tip so a lot of these business owners they just don't really know business. They know how to cook great Italian food, but they have no idea how to market it. So there's a lot of opportunity there to provide a lot of value, and it might be super easy for you. The businesses you're gonna wanna find for this are small, independently owned, consumer-facing businesses. So restaurants, bars, salons, boutique clothing stores, that kind of thing. And small and independently owned so you have access to the owner. You know, if you go into a Walmart and tell the manager that you think you can improve on their marketing, well, they're probably not gonna listen to you, right? Because one, the manager, doesn't have any power there. And two, Walmart is a massive company with a huge marketing budget and a huge marketing team already, so they really don't need you. But with a small business, you can talk to the owner directly and you can talk informally. You don't have to go through layers and layers of bureaucracy. So you're gonna wanna try to talk to the owner. So just you know ask the waitress ask whoever it is when the owner is going to be in come in person and then say to the owner hey i noticed that your website looks a little out of date i could have a brand new nice modern looking one that works well on a mobile device up and running in three days right something like that something informal saying hey here's what I noticed that your business is lacking and here's what I could do to fix it and you don't even know how to do this stuff you just find where the business is lacking and then go teach yourself right maybe maybe you see that the the business has a bad website well you could go learn how to create better websites or better yet you could just say hey I can make a better website for you and then just go hire somebody to do it find somebody on Upwork or somebody on freelance or somebody on Fiverr.com and hire them to do it for you and you charge three times the price and wherever possible give samples so if you have built websites in the past just show him the websites that you have built in the past or even if you're just planning to hire a freelancer you're not going to build a website yourself just find some examples of your freelancers work and show that to the business owner or if it's something that you could do quick and easy like a logo or a flyer you could actually mock up a few logos or a few flyers and take them to the owner and say hey I created these logos for you uh, you could buy one of these from me or I can create a custom one for you the fact that you already have the work done you already have something to show him makes it very compelling. 
Or if you're really confident, you could even make it conditional. You could say, um, I will do whatever it is for you. And if your revenue doesn't increase by 20% over the next month, then you don't have to pay me at all. That's something I could have done for that hostel in Colombia, for example, because I know that just by being on hostelworld.com, they're going to make a lot more money. And by the way, if it's something really simple like that, just like listing it on hostelworld.com, I would approach it a little more vaguely if you're trying to get paid. Just say, hey, I noticed that your marketing efforts are a little lacking. I think I could increase your revenue by a substantial margin. So let me register you on some websites. Let me do some social media work for you. And if your revenue increases by at least 20%, then you pay me. Otherwise, you don't owe me a cent. That way you're not giving away what you're doing and it's super easy for the business owner to say yes because you're not charging anything until they already get paid. Now everybody who's just starting out in business is always going to wonder how much should I charge for my services? So I would say look at your local competitors and when I say local I do not mean go to Upwork and see what people are charging there. I mean people who are in your local area who are listed on Google Maps and figure out what they're charging and then charge a little bit less than them. That's how I would start and then from there as you get more experience you can charge more and just Raise your price a little bit continuously over time and figure out at what point customers start to bulk. You know, I've done this a lot myself and you'd be surprised sometimes. Business owners just want to get it done. They don't even care so much about the price. So you can keep raising and raising your price pretty high and a lot of times people won't complain about it. But if you get to the point where people say, oh, that's just too expensive, that's outside my budget, that's when you realize that you're kind of hitting the ceiling. Now I recommend that you don't try to do everything. You know, I gave you a lot of ideas here from the logos to the copy to the Google Maps listing to the website, etc. Don't try to learn how to do all of those. Try to find a pattern. Try to find something that a lot of businesses are lacking and then work in that niche. Get good at that niche. Build up a portfolio in that niche. Once you find something that works, keep using that niche and then expand it. And then if you need to expand outside your local area, you can always do that. Just search for businesses on Google and the, the neighboring city and then, you know, cities around the world if you want. So think about it from your own experience. Have you ever walked into a business and noticed something that could be done a lot better? Leave a comment below. Tell me what it was that you noticed that could be done better and tell me how you think that you might be able to help that business. You know, a lot of people think that you have to be some sort of business genius to be able to do this, but you really don't. You as a consumer know what consumers want. If you are eating at a restaurant, you are their customer. You know what you want and that is what the business needs to know. So if they are not serving you properly or if they're not reaching out to you properly, that's exactly what they need to know. So you are perfectly qualified to tell them. So that should be enough to get you started. You don't need any money to start doing this. You can do this even if you were completely broke and do not have a penny to your name. And if there is any part of this plan that you didn't understand or you'd like more clarity around, feel free to ask me in the comments. If you're interested in even more business plans that you can use to make a lot of money, even if you have nothing to start, I highly recommend you check out this book, 30 Days from ClickFunnels, which is 30 different people who have made over a million dollars online talking about how they would make money if they suddenly lost everything, if they lost all of their money, all of their websites, all of their assets, everything, how they would earn back their fortunes within 30 days. So I highly recommend this book. I'll put the link in the description below. And also check out this video for another complete business plan that you could get started today with no money at all.